Hello folks, and this is Kinky. Uh, this is just a reminder that the quality is not great and to follow the big black square as best you can. I know that I'll be going rather fast, and there will be YouTube tool tips on the video, so make sure they're enabled when you're watching. Thank you. And we're going to be discussing vehicles, since we have some ups. And uh, once the video starts, I'll uh, show you the upgrade page. But uh, basically, right now, we've got around a little under 200 ups. So let's pick a career. Uh, remember, you can go and select like skills or hit target or something to cancel out of this in case you don't like how you have your skill set up and you can pick another class. So make sure to keep that in mind before you hit submit here. Once you hit submit, then the skill is set and the career is set. You'll have to respawn to change it from that point on. Anyway, your upgrade points is what you spend for your skills. As you know, uh, drive one is our primary, and each skill past the primary has 100 up increase to it, and they will stack up. Uh, so, like it'd be drive 505, and so on and so forth. So, we buy one point in drive. Now, we are a little bit short for CT, but let's talk about the buildings first before we get on with it. HQ is where you buy your uh, weapons and armor and all that for just your footy self. Uh, the store is where you grab your ammo if you're like being in a CT and hauling stuff or if you're in a tank. The barracks is where you defend from if you're like you're a heavy weapon specialist or something. Uh, you'd hide in here and just shoot out from it. The repair bay repairs your vehicles. Uh, and also it buys your vehicles. Like if you go to pretty much the utility vehicles here, uh, you'll notice that there's stats on each one and it'll say how many ups it costs and what the requirements are as well as the team price. And as again stated, we don't have enough ups for CT yet so we're going to have to hold on to this to later on in the video. So let's talk more about buildings. And just a rehash on moves. Also, the search, you'll notice there's a button to the right there, it says search. That's for searching for demo. So if you see a demo or about, you can click on search for a bit for a building for five moves and try to see if you can locate their demolition charge on that particular building. Anyway, rehash on moves. Uh, like I said, uh, just make sure to follow the arrows and uh, also uh, it'll tell you the move costs of each one and uh, make sure to look up at the timer each time you move a step it'll cost you 30, 30 seconds before you can move again the arrows on the bottom left will highlight when you're able to move again or you can try to keep refreshing movement to uh, kinda see if you can get it as instantaneous as you can uh, now we're at the guard post the guard post works just like the barracks does and you notice that there's a repair post and a field hospital. They work exactly the same as their counterparts at the HQ, except for you can't buy vehicles here. That's the only change. And it uh, looks like there's no commies here for us, which I'll discuss further along the video. But there's no commies right now, so we have to go fight. So just make sure you have enough moves to jump back in case you need to jump back. Uh, if you want to reload your weapon, uh, hit inventory and then like if you have the required ammo and stuff you can go with that and like I said I was just showing the arrows again for you in case you missed it the first time and the clock for you in case you missed it also nice the enemy near and under attack showed up and we get ups for uh, shooting him so go ahead keep we'll keep shooting him until we're too hurt to do anything and looks like we're at herded, so let's jump back. And then we'll have to wait 30 seconds to get back to the field hospital, and I'll show you how the field hospital works. You just enter inside of it and wait a minute, and it'll heal you up. Uh, also, make sure to go to your upgrades page, and you can actually check like the rifle and the heavy weapon stuff to see what ammo your guns require. Anyway, it should be like any second now, but you'll see my health all of a sudden rise. Uh, and I know you can't read it very clearly, but uh, see, there it goes. Anyway, uh, I will be back when I get my CT. 
Okay, now we're at our CT and we are at a mine. Uh, they're pretty much like a bunch of cave structures on the map and like little old shiny things. And make sure you're, when you're picking stuff up that you check this box. If you don't check that box, it'll go into your regular inventory. And to get to that screen, just click look at the floor like you do normally for if you're on foot. And like I said, once again, just make sure the box is checked. If you don't, it'll go into your regular backpack. Uh, you notice that in a vehicle, uh, it'll cost you four moves to run on those yellow roads. Uh, the little yellow lines there are supposed to signify roads. So if you're on one of them and you see a sector adjacent to it, like right here, H3 uh, is linked to H2, uh, we can hit the up arrow and it'll cost us four moves because we're on a road. Or we can go back to the mine for four moves because it's also a piece of roadway. Uh, and on vehicles, it's also 30 seconds per sector, so uh, pretty much it does bog down a little bit, but it's not too bad. Like I said, you get two moves a minute, and so that's one move every 30 seconds. Uh, like I said, in case you need repairs, go to the repair post, uh, so on and so forth. So now, uh, pretty much we gotta wait till we get to the HQ to the next part. Uh, but pretty much, like I said, uh, just experiment around and remember if you uh, if you need to change your stats, you can do force respawn, which is 20 moves at the HQ, or you can just go run out and die somewhere and then respawn. So that's if, in case you don't like your skills and your skills are already set. And here's the ranking page, in case you want to see it. Uh, pretty much it shows you who's in the lead uh, and who's the highest ranking amongst uh, the entire play race. Uh, it shows only your team until day three, and then after day three it'll split up to everybody. And again, here's your logs to show you uh, who attacked you, if you attacked anybody. Uh, your attack stats show the database on how your success is of hitting stuff versus other players in the game. And uh, pretty much that's that. Uh, like I said it should be re about ready to go to the HQ now. Uh, HQ also serves as where you dump your gold and your scrap and your uh, all that good stuff. Anyway, just go here, click drop all, and it'll say you dropped uh, 2,500 ore, and you notice that our up upgrades up increased by 750, so we can buy target skill, which costs 200. And now we'll go ahead and explain some more about the vehicles. Uh, basically, you notice that there is a your vehicles tab here, then the name of the vehicle, then a uh, cargo truck, the yeah, yeah. then you'll notice this big red button and then this scrap button. If you click the big red button, that means that your vehicle becomes public, which means that uh, you can share it, or you can click that button again, and it becomes red again, which means that only you can drive it. And in case you want to scrap, you can click scrap, and there you go. Uh, we'll talk more about scrap later on, but uh, because I know I'm doing this rather fast, uh, I did put some titles at the end for you. So, like I said, uh, check for public, and here's the meanings again. And also, scrap costs seven moves, and we'll be talking about it later. So, this is Kingy signing out, and uh, later. Have fun.